Okay, I uh, wanted to make a video on how to use the um, zip grade portion to use the app. Um, so you do want to download the app. You'll just go to the app store and download it. Uh, and then once you have it downloaded, um, you will just log in um, to, sorry, let me get to my account. You'll just log in um, to your user info. And then uh, you will go to quizzes. Now, if you've just made, um, like we just made that quiz, the history of healthcare test, um, then we would put new, and then you would type in the name, history of healthcare. All right, and then right here, select which answer, which answer sheet, okay? And so this is gonna have all the answer sheets that you've ever made. Um, the one that we made, this is the, the one above it, that's the one I actually used, but this was the test one that we made, just like for the example one, um, 8010. So I'm gonna click on that one. And then I can actually pick like what classes I'm gonna give this to. So I'm gonna click on test, cause that was the one that I put myself in. And I'm gonna click create quiz, okay? So now right here, you come to this, it's actually got the date. Um, so you can change this. What I really love about, um, about history of healthcare is that as I go through the years as a teacher, I, I can look to see when I gave the vital sign test last year. Um, so I can kind of see on track, you know, where I am. I mean, you can do that through your lesson plans, but it also helps to, um, you know, to do it through that way. But let's say we gave this test on another day. So let's say we gave it yesterday. We can always change the date, okay, on what day that we gave it. All right, so then we're going to go in here and we can edit the key. Um, so this is after you have, um, you know, made major uh, test out and you're, you're looking at the answer key. You can also, I like to do it this way. You know, I just uh, go through there really quickly. Um, but you can scan for the key. And when you scan for the key, it will pull it up. Um, it will pull it up for you and you just like scan the paper and then it'll have it um like like this but this is actually the test that i took and i, I got some answers wrong so i want to um, i don't want to actually scan for the key this time so i'm going to delete that and go back and i'm actually going to um, put in uh, my key right quickly um, let's see But I don't want to make a hundred on this test that I'm showing you because I want you to show. I want to be able to show you what it does, um, which is really cool. Right when on the matching, this is it's kind of weird um, because you do have to like type the letters in in here or you know do the bubbles down here. Um, and I'll show you what it does in just a second. It took me a while to figure out what it was doing. Um, right, so thirty six. All right, so now it's like it won't scroll down anymore and I have 40 questions. Um, all right, but if you just click done and then you click right here, you can, you know, you gotta click done again. Then right here, click on it again. Okay, all right, so now I'm done. All right, so then I'm just gonna go back, and so now I'm ready to scan papers. So if all my students were finished with their papers, I would just click scan papers, and then I hold it up and get those little boxes, and it shows me that I made a, that I got 30 out of 40, that I made a 75. Then I can click review, 
and it shows me exactly the ones that my student missed. So if they had accidentally bubbled in two, I would be able to see that, or if they hadn't erased it well enough, you know, sometimes they'll actually circle the one like this one, or, you know, something like that, or they'll show me. I do, you know, recommend using a pencil, um, but, you know, then you can mark the ones that, you know, you took, um, that they missed, and it gives you a grade immediately. <laughs> um, all right, so you've got them all in there. Now you've got item analysis. Now, if you had had a whole class worth of students, it would show you, I'll actually show you on another one. Um, it would actually show you, uh-oh. Uh, uh, let's go to this one. It, on item analysis, it'll show you what percentage of the, you know, that one student missed that one, one student missed that one. Three students missed this one. Um, so 97% of, of your class got that right. So, you know, if you have a question like number 13 that only 72% of your class got correctly, you know, you might need to look at that question. Is it not a good question? Is it something that you need to reteach? Or is it just something that people didn't study? So, anyway, I hope this makes sense. If you need help, please don't he hesitate to reach out. Um, but I hope this is helpful.